Yo, what up, what up, it's the kid CJ City. You already know what it is, CJ City TV. So we back with another sneaker vlog. So today we are going to be trying out a product that's been on the market for a little while now. My curiosity just been kicking in. I've seen some videos about this. I went on the Rejuvenator website. I've seen how this whole thing works, but I've just been curious. And I'm like, yo, does this thing really work, man? I really wanna try this out. What you guys are about to see here is a God honest truth video, man. I'm not an affiliate to Rejuvenator. You know, I'm not a sponsor. They're not sponsoring this video. They didn't send me this product to test out so I could say nothing but good things so they can get sales. Nothing like that, man. I could, I could trash this shoe. I could big this, this thing up, man. You know, I'm just gonna try this product out and I'm just gonna give you the God honest truth whether this stuff works or whether it doesn't work. So first and foremost, I bought this thing, right? And I was a little pissed off, I must tell you, dog, cause I buy this and this is all they send me here. They send me this little cleaner, which I already been had, already had some cleaner. They send me an all purpose brush, which I already had from the last time. And then they send me this, uh, you know, this bag with the shoe trees in it. And I'm like, yo, what am I gonna clean my sneakers with, man? They didn't send me no, no sneaker detergent. So I'm like, oh, I'm already hot about that. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna chalk that up as an L. Let me go ahead and go on this website. Let me go ahead and order the, the, the sneaker stuff. Probably gonna be like six bucks or something, right? I go on this website, this damn detergent is $16.99, $17, $20 with tax. Are you crazy, man? You know, I'm not about to spend $20 on no sneaker detergent, okay? You know, I could buy some detergent from Costco, last me two, three months for $20. So no way in the world was I about to buy that. I'm all the way pissed off now, right? So I start scrolling down to the description box because I'm like, yo, they must have something in this detergent that I can't get anywhere else, man. So I go on the website and look at this. This is exactly what the description says on this. Like I'm laughing, I cannot believe it. It says, our advanced sneaker laundry detergent was created specifically for your sneakers from sneaker experts. Really, nigga, are you kidding me, man? You telling me that this is a specific chemical that's only going to work for my sneakers? It's not gonna work for anything else. That's what you're telling me. And then you're also telling me that all those other products on the market is not going to work to keep my sneakers clean. And guess what? They got the nerve to say this was created by sneaker experts. Try to make it seem like they in this chemist lab with these chemist coats, you know, these syringes, these drops, they testing out chemicals and all this stuff just to make some detergent for your sneakers. Come on, guys. If you don't want to spend $20 like me, don't do it. I just got some regular detergent right here, as you guys can see. We're going to try this bad boy out. We're just going to throw that in there, and we're going to throw that in there, and we're going to just see if this thing works, man. We're going to test this out. Like I said, I do have my system here. I got my laundry bag. And these are the KD, uh, what are these? These are KD Aunt Pearls. And um, yo, these are sneakers that I've been having for a long time. So this is just natural wear and tear. It's natural yellowing on this sneaker. I didn't get no clean pair of sneakers, run out, stomp all up and down in some mud, let it dry for two days and then wash it. Cause I feel like, you know, the sneaker really wasn't dirty underneath all of that layer of mud. You probably could have got some soap and water and you could have cleaned that thing, dog. So, you know, these are real yellowing from real wear and tear. I really wanted to try out my Concord but I'm like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna try it out on this white mesh. So that's what we're going to do. We're gonna leave one here. We're gonna leave that dirty and we're gonna try this sneaker out just for testing purposes. So I guess, you know, you have to clean it with this regular stuff here first. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna clean the sneaker and then we're gonna toss it in this laundry bag throw it in the washing machine and we're gonna see how this thing turns out. All right, so basically we have a little water right here. You know, we got our, our, our rejuvenator sneaker solution as you guys can see right there. We're just gonna go ahead and dump this thing in here, shake it up a little bit. You know, you know, black people, we don't really measure stuff. We just eyeballing this thing. So we're just gonna go ahead and put a couple drips in there, put a little of that solution in there as you guys can see. Then we'll go ahead and take our all purpose brush that they sent me. And we'll go ahead and mix that thing up and let's just go ahead and just kind of clean this sneaker up just a little bit. All right, so that's it. We go ahead and clean that thing up. We don't, you know, I don't want to say don't clean it too much, but I just want to see how much the actual laundry detergent or the laundry system actually works. If I get this thing looking dead stock before I even throw it in there, what's the purpose of it, man? So I basically got this whole thing, you know, it's decent, it's clean enough. 
you know, it doesn't look DS or anything like that. I'll go ahead and give you guys some close-ups on that. You know, it, it's decent enough, but I wanna see if that thing's gonna really get this mesh looking sparkly white, if it's gonna get all the other stuff looking white. I'm not gonna take the laces out. I don't feel like relacing these sneakers. These sneakers could be a pain to relace, and I'm not gonna do that. So basically, we're just gonna leave that as is. It's all right. So we're gonna, we're gonna put it in this little bag right here. They give us our shoe tree, so you do wanna put one shoe tree in there, and then you'll go ahead and throw it in this bag and toss it in, in the laundry machine. So basically you have these little two like uh, latches, you know, you, you unhook them from these little holes or these sockets right here. They start off at the bottom and you can adjust them right here and that's just gonna give you more length or whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust mine right here. I'm gonna put it, you know, from the third to the top and let's just see if that thing is good enough to go. So yeah, we put our shoe trees in there, that's good enough. We'll go ahead and put that thing in this sneaker bag or long laundry bag or whatever you want to call this thing here. You only want to put one shoe in at a time. You don't want to put both sneakers in. So basically, unless you want to double up on this thing, you basically have to buy one and you just got to have to wash one sneaker at a time. And that's basically it, man. You go ahead and tighten this thing up. Go ahead and, and pull this thing down. You can tie it, you know, I'll go ahead and tie it just for extra safety or whatever the case is. But uh, yeah, that's basically it. We're gonna toss this thing in the laundry machine. And then, you know, when that gets done, we'll compare it to this sneaker that we have here. And we'll actually see if it's any difference at all, man. So stay tuned and I'll give you guys an up close look at the finished, complete detailed look. All right, guys, so here we have it, man. I just pulled this thing out of the washing machine. I let it sit for about five, 10 minutes after just to let it dry. You don't, you don't wanna throw this thing in the, in the dryer. You don't want your shoe shrinking up on you or nothing like that, so skip that process. Basically, what I did is I just OD'd on that laundry detergent, man. You know, they didn't give me the sneaker laundry detergent, but who cares, man? The whole concept is to create some suds, get this thing clean, let it smell good, man. I didn't need the sneaker detergent. I put the regular detergent in there, I OD'd on it, I used a lot. So I don't know if that was a plus, if it was a minus, I don't know. I didn't scrub the bottom of these sneakers when I was cleaning it with the water and stuff like that. Hey, I figured, you know, the, the dirtier the better. Let's really put this thing to the test and let's see if it really works. So, you know, I don't really have no complaints. The washing machine wasn't too loud. The shoe wasn't banging across the washing machine or nothing like that. So, you know, let's just go ahead and pull this thing out and let's just see how it works. If I could get the thing open. <laughs> so I guess, all right, here we go. So the thing locks when you put it in there. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see how this thing works. Is this thing gonna look DS like they advertise? Is the mesh gonna be all pearly white? Let's see, man. Let's go ahead and take a look at these things. Oh, hey, I can't, I can't even front, bro. These actually look nice. Let's go ahead and take a look at the bottom because like I said, I didn't scrub the bottom or nothing. So let's see what that looks like. All right, so that's not super clean or anything like that. It's still like dirt, it's still rocks and stuff like that on the bottom of the sneaker. I'll give you some close-ups and all that, but as far as the main sneaker goes, you know, like the mesh, it's actually nice and white. You know, it doesn't really have that yellow tint to it anymore. The wings are good. I didn't take the laces out because I was being lazy and I'm, I'm glad I didn't because the laces got clean just fine on its own. I don't have to relace these things. Give me a headache, so. Hey man, I can't even front. This thing actually works pretty well. This is actually a pretty good investment if you if you ask me, man, you know. Um I didn't have any crazy crazy yellowing on this. It was kind of yellow, but the yellow is kind of gone. So I think I'm going to actually test these things out on my concourse, man, you know. So uh basically, like I said, this is just on the spot, you know, honest opinion type stuff. From what I see right now, I'll compare it to this one and I'll give you guys some close-ups and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, I'm really impressed by what, what just happened here. You know, I, I didn't expect it to be this clean. I will say that, you know, so uh, yeah, man, this is a pretty good investment. I forgot how much this was, 29, 30 bucks or something like that. Beware, they do jip you on the sneaker detergent, but as you guys could see, I just use regular laundry detergent. You don't have to spend an extra $20 to get the, the special one from the sneaker experts. You know, you don't have to do that. Just get you some regular detergent and it seems like it works pretty well. I guess the only downside is 
you have to actually put on, you still have to put in some elbow grease if you want to get these things clean. I didn't clean the bottom. So, so if I would have scrubbed them clean, then the, I'm kind of interested to know what the bottom would have looked like. But anyway, like I said, pretty cool investment. I think it, it works decent. You know, if you just don't feel like, you know, you know, putting in too much elbow grease or certain yellowing or certain spots that you just can't get clean. I will feel like that's a bonus. Go ahead and toss those things in this laundry system and throw them in the laundry. And it's probably going to work pretty good for you, man. So that's basically what I got for you guys, man. I hope that uh, helps you guys just in case you were curious about this product. The, the ultimate sneaker cleaner laundry detergent system or whatever from a uh, Shuvenator. So give it a shot, man. Test it out. Leave those comments down below if you guys have tried this or if you guys are going to try it. You know, let me know what you guys think of this product. But until next time, I'm signing out. You already know what it is. CJ City TV. Peace. Quick disclaimer, guys. <laughs> so I shot the whole video, right? I went to go do my, you know, B-roll. I went to do my cutaways. So I wanted to give you a comparison on how clean this came out. And I tried to compare it to the old sneaker. But guess what, guys? I got white lights going on in here. I got these 4K cameras. They just can't pick up how dirty these sneakers really are. So I'm, I'm filming the dirty sneaker and it still looks clean on camera. I don't know what to do to show you guys how dirty this sneaker is. But uh, you guys been rocking with me for a long time. You guys know that I'll give you the honest truth. So I'm not trying to just endorse this product just for no reason. It is a decent product. It was worth my money. Maybe next time I'll try it out on a black sneaker or something like that. But uh, you know, worst case scenario, you know, or best case scenario, I don't even know, but just buy it yourself, test it out, man. If you don't want to take my word, if you think I'm just, you know, just hyping this product up, get it, it's worth it. Test it out yourself. If you don't like it, send it back, sell it on eBay or something like that. But my B-rolls aren't doing me any justice right now. These things just look super clean on camera, no matter what I try to do. So uh, yeah, man, hopefully you guys take my word and that's that. But it did come out pretty good. I'm feeling the results. I just wanted to say that, you know. So uh, yeah, man, just like I said, test it out. Find out yourself. I'm signing out. Until next time, you already know what it is. CJ City TV.